Here is a thought and a question for everyone out there. Where actually is the Pi Network today? The Pi Network is one of the largest cryptocurrency projects on the internet. And it is also one of the fascinating and one-of-a-kind projects that we have ever come across. The project now has a large buildup of applications and of the largest ecosystem that we have ever witnessed. It was founded and started by three Stanford-educated founders who wanted to produce and design something practical, functional, and advanced at the same time. We want to present to you what has happened with the Pi Network. These days, we notice that the Pi Network is going exceedingly fast. The network is now honoring and celebrating almost 25 million pioneers on the application. And that is pleasing and great news for users like us. Just because the bigger the project gets, the better chance it has at victory and success. We can remember coming across and discovering the Pi Network when it only had 10 million users. And today, that number has grown by 250%. In the last few months, a lot has changed and a lot has occurred with the project. The hackathon was launched for the first time where new applications were advanced and developed. A good amount of these same applications is exceptionally interesting, but we will get back to them later in the video. Hackathons are events where third-party computer programmers work together to observe and detect bugs and also build infrastructure for money. In this case, the project was planned to award 100,000 USD and 100,000 Pi to some of the top teams. All embracing, Pi was looking for two categories of apps. But before we continue with the video and go any further, we would like to inform you that we have checked the analytics of this channel and found out that most of you are returning visitors. This is the main reason why we have a surprise for you. Today, you can get up to $2,800 bonus on the exchanges Bybit and Femex. And getting this money is really a piece of cake. All you need to do is click the links down below in the description sign up and make your first deposit. You should not miss this chance as it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And now, let's proceed with our video. And about those app categories, they want to see ecosystem apps or applications that actually refine and upgrade the Pi ecosystem and its functions also. They also want to see business apps or applications that are in the service for the buyers like us. The winners of this hackathon were announced not long ago or to be more precise, on September the 13th. We do believe that these are some of the most fascinating applications that we have ever seen. There are plenty of applications if you want to take a look at them yourself. Nonetheless, these are some of our preferred hackathon winners so far. This also incorporates a Pi Workforce pool app that equips people to freelance jobs. This application focuses and directs to be a freelance marketplace for Pi users. That automatically means that you won't have to sign up because you'll already have a Pi account. And you simply need to update your personal information. And once you do that, the application will automatically match you to a job that will be your right fit when it comes to your talent. Altogether, you are going to be able to hire people for your project and also, other people are going to be able to hire you as well. And what is most important, you are going to be able to get paid in Pi. The user interface here looks similar and very close to other freelance websites, and it automatically logs you on with your Pi account. The next project we also want to mention here is a Pi chain model, is an NFT marketplace and e-commerce platform that permits you to sell physical and digital goods. Just as the previous project we talked about, this project will also automatically log you on with your Pi account. You are going to be allowed to list and sell your items similar to Shopify stores. Although the payment here is only done in Pi currency. What needs to be mentioned is that this app focuses to be much more. And it is a lot more than just e-commerce platform. You can find a charity segment too, as well as NFTs. If you ask us, we are a big fan of NFTs. And it is one of the reasons we wanted to discuss about this application. Some other applications that won the hackathon include a Pi Championship application, which is a splendid game. Members who play this game are actually playing each other for Pi. This might be one of the most interesting notions out there, and we can assume that this can be easily very addictive. The postulation of the game is to match three objects of the same color or type to earn points. There are also special objects, combos, and boosts that help you clear out the board way quicker. 
The first levels are totally free to play. Nevertheless, if you want to go at a greater distance, you must transfer at least 0.1 pi. This amount would be combined with that of others and will also form a jackpot. The jackpot will be split amongst 10 best scores. In this game, you can also see a leaders board that's updated for all players. Up to this point, we think that Pi has surprised and delivered us with more applications than we had originally expected. All of this is exceedingly interesting since it is the first time we actually see a clear out ecosystem that's being grown and advanced for the network. We believe that this is very much important for the durability and endurance of the project just because this gives us an extra reason to stay around. This is one of the main reasons why Pi Network should be taken seriously. And even though there's a fuss on how long this project is taking, there are some good reasons enough to stay. Foremost, the Pi Network holdups are due to difficulties with trying to fork the open source Stellar blockchain. Forking means to change Stellar's blockchain to serve the goal of the Pi Network instead. This means using the property of the Stellar Network to create a new currency called Pi. And it comes to light that this is a lot more demanding than developers originally expected. Another reason why the Pi Network might be taking that long might be due to things like timing and schedule and patience. We believe that for a cryptocurrency project to be convenient and serviceable, it has to be useful to companies and also advertisers. Principally, it has to be pretty large. You can put it this way, the larger this project gets, the more support and leverage the project has. And the better price that Pi tokens might be traded on, the Pi Network is still one of the biggest money applications on the Google and Apple application store. We do think that Pi will launch at the end of this year, or maybe at the beginning of next year. And we are going to witness what exactly is going to happen. Anyway, who actually benefits and profits from this project only depends on where you are from. Playing games in the Pi Network might become a full-time job for some individuals. For example, places like the Philippines, where people are making less. From what we have collected, we can say that people make a full-time living from such games, and we do believe that the same thing can also be said about the Pi Network in the near future. The only thing left for us is to wonder if the company is going to develop more games like this in the future, where you are going to be able to earn Pi from other people. We are very much intrigued and thrilled for the future of this project, and we can't wait to see exactly what happens. That was all for today's video. We hope you learned something. Don't forget to share your thoughts, opinions, and experiences in the comment section down below. See you in the next one.